everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this absolutely beautiful poncho. It is made with gradient yarn, so you get some beautiful color changes. This is part one where we will crochet the four squares. In part two we will make a very decorative seam for the front and the back of the poncho. We will crochet a very pretty neckline and border around the bottom of the poncho and finish it with some tassels. This poncho is made out of four squares. When they are folded together, they will make the right and the left shoulder and the front and the back. My squares are 15 by 22 inches. And the punch is 37 inches wide and 28 inches long, which is a size 2XL. Depending on how tight you crochet, if you want a small or medium size, add one round to your border. If you want a size large or extra large, add four rounds to your border. And if you want a size 2XL or 3XL, add seven rounds to your border. The yarn I'm using is Super Saver Ombre from Red Heart. Here's the yarn information. And here's the hook information. I used the lightest color to start three of my squares. I simply pulled the yarn out of the skein and now I have the light color to start with. But you can of course use any color combination or any yarn that you like. Let's start with a magic ring. Place the end of the yarn in your open hand and wrap around your two fingers like an X. Turn your hand over and go underneath the right loop and pull the left piece of yarn through. And start round one. Chain three to replace the first double crochet. One, two, and three. Then make one more chain for the chain space. Make six double crochet into the ring with a chain one in between. One double, chain one, two doubles, chain one, three doubles, chain one, Four doubles, chain one, five doubles, chain one, and the last double, and chain one. Then you can pull your magic ring tight. So together with a chain of three, we have seven double crochet with a chain one in between. Finish round one with a slip stitch into the third chain. One, two, three, and start round two. Chain three to replace the first double crochet. Then go right back into that third chain and make another double crochet into it. Then go into the chain space of one and make two doubles into the chain space. One and two. Double crochet two into the next double. One and two and double crochet two into the chain space. One and two. Double crochet two in all of the doubles and double crochet two into all of the chain spaces. We will have 28 double crochet at the end of the round. We have 28 doubles at the end of round two. Finish with a slip stitch into the one, two, three, into the third chain. And start round three. Chain one, then go right back into the third chain again and make a single crochet. Then make four singles into the next four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So all together we have five single crochet now. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two doubles. One, two, and starting in the third double, make five singles into the next five doubles. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five. Skip two and repeat two more times. Single crochet five into the next five doubles. Chain five. Skip two doubles. Starting in the third double, make your five singles. 
chain five and it leaves two more tapas to skip one and two. So in round three, we made five single crochet and in round four, we will make three single crochet. Let's finish the round. Here was the chain that we made. Next to it is the first single crochet. Make a slip stitch into the first single crochet and slip stitch into the second single crochet and start round four. Chain one, then go right back into that second single crochet and make another single crochet. That's our first out of the three. We have one, two, three more singles left. Make a single crochet into the third single and make a single into the fourth single. So the first single crochet is empty. We made a slip stitch into that and the fifth single crochet is empty. Chain three, one, two, three. Go into the chain space, so skip over that fifth single, go into the chain space and make a double crochet, three chains, and a double crochet into that chain space. That's our first V-stitch. Make a second V-stitch, make a double crochet, a chain of three, and a double crochet into the chain space, and chain three. One, two, three. So we have two V-stitches, one and two, and a chain of three to the right, and to the left of the v-stitches. Let's repeat the sequence. Skip the first single crochet and make three singles into the next three singles. One, two, three. So the first and last one are empty. Chain three, skip the last single crochet and then make the v-stitch into the chain space with a double, three chains and a double. And make a second v-stitch into the chain space with a double, three chains, and a double, and chain three. Please repeat the sequence two more times. Skip the first single crochet, make a single into the second single, into the third one, and into the fourth one. Chain three, skip the fifth single crochet, and make two v-stitches, one and two into the corner space. Make the first v-stitch with a double, three chains and a double, and make the second v-stitch with a double, three chains and a double, and chain three. So we started out with five singles, then three, and now we will make only one. Let's finish the round. Here was the chain. Here's our first out of the three singles. Make a slip stitch into the first single crochet, and into the second single crochet and start round five. Chain one, go right back into that second single and make your one single crochet. Now we only have one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, and then skip directly into the first V-stitch and make seven double crochet into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then skip to the second v-stitch and also make seven double crochet into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain three, one, two, three, and now we can repeat that sequence three more times. Skip the first out of the three singles, single crochet into the second single, chain three, double crochet seven into the first v-stitch, And double crochet seven into the second V stitch. Chain three and repeat two more times. Skip the first single crochet, make a single into the second single crochet, chain three, and skip the third single crochet, double crochet seven into the first V stitch, and double crochet seven into the second V stitch and chain three. 
Let's finish round five. Here was our chain. Next to it, the single crochet. Make a slip stitch into the single crochet and start round six with a four yarn over puff stitch. Pull a loop a little bit shorter than your double. We want a short puff stitch. Yarn over once, pull the loop through the single crochet. We have three loops. Yarn over twice, pull through the single. We have five loops. Yarn over three times, pull through the single. We have seven loops. Yarn over four times, pull through the single. We have nine loops. Pull through all of the loops except the last one. Leave two loops on the hook, pull through the two loops, and chain three. One, two, three. And now we will do a familiar pattern. Skip the first double crochet and start in the second double and make your five single crochet into the next five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain five for the corner space. One, two, three, four, five. Skip two doubles. One, two, and start in the second double in the second cluster. Make the five single crochet into the next five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain three. One, two, three and skip the last double crochet. We finished our first sequence. Now let's do the second sequence. Let's make the four yarn over puff stitch again. Yarn over once, pull the loop through the single crochet. Yarn over twice, pull the loop. Yarn over three times, pull the loop. Yarn over four times, pull the loop through the single crochet. We have nine loops. Pull through all of the loops except the last one. That leaves two loops on the hook. Close off with a chain and chain three. One, two, three. Skip the first double crochet and into the next five doubles. Make five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain five. Skip two doubles. One and two and make five single crochet into the next five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain three and skip the last double crochet. And now we can repeat our sequence two more times. Yarn over once, pull a loop through the single. Yarn over twice, pull the loop. Three times, pull the loop. Four times, pull the loop. Pull through all loops except the last one. You have two loops. Close off of the chain. Chain three. Now repeat the corner. Skip the first double and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain five. Skip two doubles and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three. Skip the last double. And now we can repeat that sequence one more time. Make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. Chain three, skip the first double, make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain five, skip the next two doubles and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three and skip the last double crochet. Finish round six with a slip stitch into the puff stitch. Go underneath the bar where all of those pieces of yarn are and make a slip stitch. And start round seven. Round seven is very similar to round four where we made all of those v-stitches. Start with a chain of three. One, two, three for the first double crochet, then chain three more. And make a double crochet in that spot again where all of those pieces of yarn come together into the puff stitch. And we have our first v-stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Then skip the first single and into the next three singles. Make single crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three. Skip the last single crochet and make the two V-stitches into the chain space of five with a double crochet, a chain of three, and a double crochet, and a second V-stitch again with a double crochet, a chain of three, and a double crochet. Chain three, skip the first single crochet on the other side, 
and into the next three singles make the three single crochet one two and three chain three and skip the last single crochet our first sequence is completed now we have to repeat it three more times let's make the v-stitch into the puff stitch again right where all of those pieces of yarn come together in that spot make the v-stitch with a double crochet three chains and a double crochet into the same spot where all of those pieces of yarn come together chain three this is our v-stitch skip the first single crochet and into the next three singles make three singles one two and three chain three one two three skip the last single crochet and make the two v-stitches into the corner space with a double three chains and a double and the second v-stitch with a double three chains and a double chain three and work the other side skip the first single and into the next three singles make the three single crochet one two and three chain three and skip the last single crochet and we completed our second sequence now we have to repeat it two more times make the v-stitch into the puff stitch with a double crochet three chains and a double crochet chain three skip the first single and make three singles into the next three singles chain three skip the last single make the two v-stitches into the corner space the first v-stitch with a double three chains and a double and the second v-stitch with a double three chains and a double chain three skip over the first single and make three singles into the next three singles chain three and skip the last single crochet finish round seven with a slip stitch into the v-stitch and start round eight round eight is very similar to round five where we made the seven double crochet into all of the v-stitches chain three for the first double crochet then make six more doubles into the v-stitch one two three four five and six so together with the chain we have seven double crochet chain three skip over the first single crochet and make a single crochet into the second single crochet chain three skip the last single crochet then make seven double crochet into the first v-stitch and make seven doubles into the second v-stitch chain three skip the first single crochet and make a single crochet into the second single crochet chain three and skip the last single crochet and now we have to repeat that sequence three more times let's start the sequence by making the seven doubles into the v-stitch again chain three skip the first single and make a single into the second single chain three skip the last single make the seven doubles into the first v-stitch Then make seven doubles into the second v-stitch chain three skip the first single make a single into the second single chain three and skip the last single and repeat the sequence two more times double crochet seven into the v-stitch chain three skip the first single crochet single into the second single crochet chain three and skip the third single crochet double crochet seven into the first v-stitch and double crochet seven into the second v-stitch chain three skip the first single make a single into the second single crochet chain three and skip the third single crochet finish round eight with a slip stitch into the third chain 
one, two, three, and make a slip stitch into the next double crochet. Start round nine, where we shift the pattern, but it's very similar to round six, where we made the puff stitches and five single crochet. Let's start with a chain and make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain three and skip the last double. So our first and last doubles are empty again. Now make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. We will have nine loops on the hook. Pull through all of the loops except the last one. Pull through two loops and chain three. Skip the first double and into the next five doubles make five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain five. Skip two doubles and single crochet five into the next five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. And chain three. Skip the last double and make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. Pull through all the loops, leave two loops on the hook, pull through two, chain three. And that was our first sequence and now we can repeat that sequence three more times. Skip the first double and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three and skip the last double. Make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. Pull through all loops, leave two, pull through two, chain three. Skip the first double crochet and into the next five doubles, make five singles. Chain five, skip two doubles and into the next five doubles, make five single crochet. Chain three. Skip the last double and make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. Pull through all loops except two, pull through two and chain three. And now we can repeat that sequence two more times. Skip the first double crochet and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three, skip the last double, make the puff stitch into the single crochet. Chain three, skip the first double, make five singles into the next five doubles, chain five. Skip two doubles, make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three, skip the last double, make the puff stitch into the single crochet, and chain three. And notice in round six, we made one puff stitch and in round nine, we made two. So we increased our basic pattern stays the same. We're just making one more increase on the side. Now we can start round 10, which is the same as round four. We will make these stitches into the puff stitches. One and two. We will decrease the five single crochet to three single crochet and make two V stitches into the corner again. Skip over the chain and slip stitch into the first and into the second single crochet and start round 10. Chain one, single crochet into the second single crochet and into the third single crochet and into the fourth single crochet. Chain three. So our first single crochet and our last single crochet are empty again. Skip to the puff stitch and make the V stitch into the puff stitch with a double crochet, three chains and a double crochet. Chain three. Skip the first single crochet and into the next three singles, make three single crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three. Skip the last single crochet and make two V stitches into the corner space with a double, three chains, and a double. And the second V stitch, make the double, three chains, and a double into the corner space chain three and repeat on the second side. Skip the first single and into the next three single crochet, make three singles. One, 
two and three. Chain three and skip the last single crochet and make the V stitch into the puff stitch with a double, three chains and a double crochet. Chain three, and now you can repeat that sequence three more times. Skip the first single crochet, make three singles, chain three, skip the last single crochet, make the V stitch into the puff stitch, chain three, skip the first single, make three singles, chain three, skip the last single, make two V stitches into the corner, one and two. Chain three, skip the first single, make three single crochet, chain three and skip the last single, make the V stitch into the puff stitch, and chain three and finish the round, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet and into the second single crochet. Let's start round 11, and as you can see, it's the round where we make the clusters of seven doubles again. Chain one and make a single crochet into the second single crochet, chain three, skip to the v-stitch and make seven doubles into the v-stitch, chain three, single crochet into the second single crochet, chain three, then double crochet seven into the first v-stitch and seven into the second v-stitch, Chain three, single crochet into the second single crochet, chain three, and double crochet seven into the V stitch. Chain three, and now we can repeat that sequence three more times. Single crochet into the second single crochet, chain three. Double crochet seven into the V stitch, chain three, single crochet into the second, single crochet, chain three, then make seven doubles into the first V stitch and seven double crochet into the second V stitch, chain three, single crochet into the second single, chain three, double crochet seven into the V stitch, chain three, and finish round eleven with a slip stitch into the single crochet, and we can start round twelve. Round 12 is the same as round 6, where we made the puff stitch into the single crochet, the 5 singles into the doubles, the chain of 5 into the corner space, and everywhere else we chain 3, so now we will increase to 3 puff stitches on all of the sides. Pull the loop long and make the 4 yarn over puff stitch, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Pull through all the loops, leave two loops, pull through the two loops and chain three. Skip the first double crochet, make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three, skip the last double crochet and make another four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet one two three and four pull through all loops leave two pull through two chain three skip the first double make five singles into the next five doubles chain five for the corner Skip two doubles and make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three, skip the last double, make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet. Leave two loops, pull through two and chain three. Skip the first double, make five singles into the next five doubles. Chain three, skip the last double and repeat the sequence three more times. 
Make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single crochet, chain three, skip one, make five singles, chain three, skip one, make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single, chain three, skip one, make the five singles, chain five, skip two, make five singles, chain three, skip one, make the four yarn over puff stitch into the single, chain three, skip one, make five singles, chain three, skip one. And you can finish this round. Make a slip stitch into the puff stitch. And we can start round 13. Now we have two more rounds and our square will be finished. Start by making a chain of three to replace the first double crochet. Double crochet two more into the puff stitch. One and two. So together with the chain of three, we have three doubles. Chain one. Make five double crochet into the five singles so we don't skip any. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet. Chain one, double crochet three into the puff stitch. One, two, and three. Chain one. Double crochet five into the next five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're at our corner space. Don't make any chains. Go directly into the corner space and make three doubles into it. One, two, and three. Chain three and make three more doubles into the corner space. One, two, and three. And we don't make a chain. Go directly into the single crochet and make the five doubles into the five singles again. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one and make three doubles into the puff stitch. One, two, and three. Chain one and now you can repeat that pattern on all the sides and into all of the corners. So on the side make five doubles into the five singles and make three doubles into the puff stitches and chain one in between. When you get to the corner, make your last five doubles into the five singles and then no chain. Make three doubles, three chains and three doubles into the corner space and again no chain. Continue with the five doubles into the five singles and one chain. Finish round 13 with one chain and make a slip stitch into the third chain and start round 14. Chain three for the first double crochet and make two doubles into the next two doubles. One and two so we have our three doubles chain one and then make double crochet into the next five doubles so where we had five doubles we make five doubles where we had three doubles we make three doubles make the five doubles chain one then move to your three doubles and make three doubles into those one two and three chain one then make five doubles into the next five doubles and we're near the corner now. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we have three double crochet left over. One, two, three, chain one, skip the first out of the three doubles and make a double into the second double and into the third double and into the chain space, our corner space. We have three doubles, so we alternate. We make three doubles, five doubles, three doubles. Chain one and work your corner. Make your double crochet into the corner. Chain three. Make a double crochet into the corner. And chain one. Now we can make our three doubles again. Make a double into the corner space double crochet into the first double, double crochet into the second double, chain one, 
So we have three doubles. Now we make five again. Skip the next double and make five doubles into the previous five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, then make the three doubles into the previous three doubles again. Chain one and make the five doubles into the next five doubles and repeat that pattern. So where we made three double crochet in the previous round, we make three doubles. Where we made five doubles, we will make five doubles and in between the clusters we chain one. Near the corner, make five double crochet into the previous five doubles. That leaves us three double crochet. Chain one, skip the first double, make a double into the second double and make a double crochet into the third double and a double crochet into the chain space. We have our three doubles. Chain one, double crochet into the corner. Chain three, double crochet into the corner. And chain one. Now we have to make our three doubles again. The first one into the corner space, the second one into the double crochet, and the third one into the next double crochet. Chain one, we have our three doubles. Skip one double and into the next five double crochet, make five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one. Now you can make three doubles where the three doubles are and five doubles where the five doubles are and chain one in between. Let's repeat one more time. Make three doubles where we previously made three doubles and make five doubles where we previously made five doubles. Chain one in between. Near the corner, make five doubles into the previous five doubles. That leaves us three doubles. Chain one, skip one double, the first one, make a double into the second double and a double into the third double and a double into the corner space. We have our three doubles. Chain one and make the corner with a double, three chains, and a double. Chain one, and now we have to make the three doubles on the other side. Make the first double into the corner space, the second double into the first double, and the third double into the second double. Chain one, skip one, and make five doubles into the previous five doubles, and chain one. Finish the round with one chain. Now we can finish our square with a seamless join. Cut your yarn and pull the thread out of the chain and thread a needle. Skip over the chain of three and go into the double crochet through both loops from the front to the back. Skip over the chain again and then go top down into the chain. Back loop only. And then you can sew a new loose end towards the left so we have our three pieces of yarn. And I just sew it into the chain of three and into a couple of more stitches. Now our first square is complete. Please make three more squares with the same pattern as the first one. So we have our four squares and we will finish our poncho in part two. I see you there. Bye bye.